are on the way to the Botanical Gardens. We got a little traffic. Look at all these big, beautiful pine trees. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens. Is this your first time here? Yeah. Are you yes. excited? Yeah, let's go. She's excited. All right, so you enter right here. And it's very cheap. It's only 10 pesos for an adult, five pesos for kids. And it's a nice sunny day. The first two days were raining. Look at these flowers. There's a bee doing its work. Natural Geographic. Natural. <laughs> National. <laughs> So we're going to come on down here. I'll give you a little tour. Boy, it's bright out. Sunflowers. Can you explain it? What is it? I'm just amazed at all the flowers in bloom. It smells wonderful. And they got all these little bonsai plants here. Look at this. feels like California weather right now. Like if I were walking around in uh, Orange County, springtime maybe. These grounds are huge. Look at this. I just want to pan out here. They're just really keeping this up nicely. I can't believe it's only 10 pesos to get in here, huh? We're going to walk through this whole area and um, Try to take some pictures too, some nice still shots. What do you think, Asal? You know what these are right here? No. At least that over there, I think they call it like a little bonsai tree. You know the Japanese? It's nice. These little uh, sunflowers are really pretty. There's lots of bees doing their jobs here.
<laughs> Looks like they planted for something right here. And the sunflowers are really tall. They gotta be six, seven feet up in the air. Get this little tunnel. So we're going to go through the tree tunnel. One. I don't know, tree, but like. Ferns. Look at this. Wow. This reminds me of the botanical gardens they have in San Fernando. I went there with uh, Brian and his wife, Luisa. But this one's much bigger. It's very well manicured. Look at these things just hanging down. It's nice if you can come during the week like this because uh, it's very uncrowded. I mean, there's people here, but. <laughs> Not many people. Kind of just words can't describe it. It's really better just to watch for yourself and not listen to me. Looks like they're doing some maintenance here on the trail. I just hope I can vlog this place justice. It's big pine trees. Right in the middle. It's very nice. We go there, dude. Yeah. Hmm. I like that sign up there. I love Baguio. It's, it's made out of plants. Oh look, these are what you got. Sal got a bunch of succulents in the uh, in the mall, the SM mall. They were only what, 20 pesos each? 25 pesos. 25 pesos each for like little clumps of them. Maybe somebody could let me know in the comments what plant this is with these flowers that droop. It's like they all hang upside down like a bell. Different colored ones too.
try to get a close up. We got a little uh, ice cream and a refreshment stand. some kind of lookout like pagoda or something up there I like this replica of the I'm gonna guess the Golden Gate Bridge these elephants look so cool in the garden Surrounded by flowers and pine trees. There's Cell. Cell's hanging out with the elephants. Oh, this would be one of those, uh, let's see. That is one big elephant. Thai elephants in Baguio. It's a long tusk. It's pretty cool, huh? It's nice, huh? It's like an It's like green. Really like these elephants. And then it looks over here they got some kind of cave that you can go in. I'll go check it out. Give you a 360. It's a great replica of that bridge. Let me go see if I can get the wording on it. We got a pond here, but I don't see any fish in it. Again, 10 pesos to get in here. That's uh, it's really worth it. Really nice. I can tell Sal's really enjoying it. City of Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. This is a great place to come and visit, I'll tell you. If you're here in Baguio, this is a must. I've been hitting the restaurants, and uh, today is the first day we've had a nice sunny day. And I would say it's like 74 degrees out. Not sure what that is in Celsius, maybe 23, 22. All these signs where you can go so each area kind of gives you a feel for that area like Thailand or Korea where to next you want to go up in that lookout this over here is the Filipino Chinese Friendship Garden. I like how they have all these benches. You can just sit and relax. There goes Cell. So you can go up these stairs all the way up to the top and it overlooks the park. Time for my exercise. And then over there, I'm not gonna walk through it because there's a bunch of people taking pictures and everything, but it's uh, 
just gives you all the Chinese New Year's, the rooster, the all the months and the years of the rooster and <laughs> I, I don't know all the animals but they're there all the Chinese New Year's And they even have some uh, vendors here selling flowers. So if you want to grow them at home, you can. Sal's so gonna check it out. Korean pepper, Korean pepper. It's a Korean pepper. Yeah. Can you eat it? Yeah, that's edible. Yeah. Wow. Is it very spicy? Not so spicy. Yeah. I've never seen peppers like purple. Is it kind of purple? Yeah. And at all, it changes, it changes colors. Ah. Oh, wow. Yeah. They change colors. Yeah. So, and then they end up red? Red, yes, yeah. So they start out purple and end up red. The things that they have are rosemary, strawberries, and mint. And they're kind of in the shaded areas. I guess they're kind of like a partial, partial sun plant. And really pretty hibiscus plants. Cells picking out a. Uh, Korean pepper plant. They're 50 pesos. Most everything's 50 pesos each if you're interested in buying anything up here. Rosemary would be kind of cool to have. We just don't want to carry it around the whole day. We were going to go to two other places. All right, so that's pretty much all the area of the botanical gardens. Um, they have some really nice restrooms here. Um, they have an area you can buy cactuses. And then uh, over there, I didn't vlog it, but they got like a souvenir area for native wares and souvenir pictures. This is Mark and Sal from Botanical Gardens Baguio. And uh, that's a wrap. Off to the next place.